Kevin, the homemaker husband. It's Saturday, July the 10th, year 2021. So this morning, what I'm up to is Michelle and I are going to make this. I'm going to hold that up so you can read it. Mitchell's Classic Chicken Soup. Chicken and Herb Soup. Now, so this is sort of a product review. And I want to say up front that Michelle, she, her, her two favorite foods, she will tell you herself, are lobster and homemade soup. So this right here has a very high standard to uphold because M Michelle can really, really make soup. Her homemade soup is delicious. So this is what we're up to right now. I'm frying the chicken that's going to go in it because it's pre-cooked. We have a cup and a half of chopped carrot, a cup and a half of chopped celery, and one whole onion. That will go in. Michelle is going to come out and help with the assembling of this because as I said, soup is her baby. So I hope you will watch this video. It's going to be the battle of Michelle and Mitchell. And it should prove to be very interesting. So, anyway, once the chicken is cooked, we're gonna say go. And at that time, Michelle will come out and help. I don't know whether she's gonna be on camera or just behind the camera like she often is. So I hope you will watch, stay tuned, more to come. It should be interesting. Okay, we're back everyone. This is Kevin, the homemaker husband. And now we're about to make soup. So, if you get really, 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 really close to the camera and look hard to your left, you'll see Michelle sitting right there. <laughs> what are you doing? But, uh, she's going to try and stay out of sight. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she is there, and you will hear her. And I might add the beagle. He always looks terrified. <laughs> Hi. He's not terrified, but anyway, he plays a starring role in this house. So I just thought I would show you. You've seen him before. Anyway, we're about to get going here. This is our largest soup pot that we have, or it could be a stew pot. Or well, whatever. we have another one. Yeah, I guess we have the lobster pot, but it's like yeah. this tall. So, the first thing that I've done... Can you already show this? I've already showed that, but this is the chicken that I've cut, yes. I'm going to put How that much? in. It is about two pounds. So. Cooked. Yep, I've cooked it. Pre-cooked it. It will cook more in the soup. I've got a question that you're not going to like. So ask the question. Where's the onion? The onion. Oh, well, you did do it. It's right okay. there. Okay, Yep. So Michelle's asking where the onion is. So we're going to make this Mitchell's soup. And as I said, Michelle is a fabulous soup maker. So this is a contest between, this is the Mitchell Michelle challenge. <laughs> and uh, Mitchell better bring his game, that's yeah, all I can say. So the first thing I have to do with this package. Well, you should read it first. I've yes. already read it. Okay, well now we're doing this. You okay. Should just to double check to make sure that we're doing it right. I can't tell what time it is because that clock is gone. 1219. Okay. So, it says that it makes eight to ten two-cup servings. So this, it, it's a lot of soup. That's a so, normal pot that we would make, though. That's the, this is a normal pot that we would make. So I've already cooked the chicken. It says to do that, but it says do it in here. I just chose to do it the way I usually do in my frying pan. Um, it says brown one to two pounds of chicken. That would be at least two pounds or... At least, anyway. Uh, one chopped onion, which I have right here, that will go in when Michelle says, I guess. You need Simon here. One and a half cups of chopped celery. Which looks fabulous, by the way. And one and a half cups of carrot. Ew. I believe I showed that once already, anyway. So. First project is to get these noodles out. So. I'll do that if you trust me. 
Okay. So I cut the top off. It comes with a fancy jute string, which they showed. Let me see if I can do this without terror. It says pinch the bag. So let's start right there and start pouring it in. So you separate that. Now, are yeah. you ready? To, are you ready to add water? Okay, there's still a few more. There's still a few more. So we'll this get is stressful. Can I cut that off some? Sure. So that can. I can get those. Wait, that'll cut the instructions. This is this is real life because, because Michelle and I are a pretty good team, and some things she sends me out here and I'm capable of doing by okay, myself. But it. soup is her game, so. Wait. So you want to start adding the water now? What's it say to do? Well, I mean, it said start with well, 10 no. cups of water. Oh, does it say that? Yeah. But I mean, why don't well, we add... Again, it's stressful because that's not how I make soup. Why don't we add four and then... No, we'll just do what it says. We're going to okay. see what it says. We have to follow the instructions. It's just stressful because this is a backwards way for me. So I'm going to now turn this on. How just much was that? That was four cups. Okay. I can't believe I got that out. Oh, yeah. So it came out pretty good. Yep. That's a lot of noodles. Which is a good sign. Which kind of tells me that that stuff is very dry, which means it would store for Oh, that a smells while. good. Smell that. It actually does smell pretty decent. It's yep, that like smells It's not nice. super strong yet because we haven't got so, a lot of them. But. That's eight cups of water. That's all I'm going to add for now. Okay. Because Just remember there's two. Yep. Obviously you will. Yep. I've got my burner just on five. Then what so does it say? What we need now is mm -hmm. one large stone. Stop. <laughs> Hold up for a second, okay. please. Glasses. Because Michelle is a victim of time the same as me, she's getting her glasses on to read the... Yeah, it's messing me up. Okay, noodles out. Add yep. to add water, remaining package of coke. What? Put the rest of That's the stuff. That's stressful though. Yeah, so you see this is bot. Wait. Add to the pot ten cups of water, remaining patch packet contents, not the noodles. With yep. the celery, the carrots, and boil. For one to two hours, so I'm basically out here doing nothing. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, really. So we're gonna dump this in now. Oh. But I only have eight cups of water. The whole thing. The whole thing. That's it talks about if you want to make a half batch, batch but it yeah. would be very hard to divide that. I don't smell that. Don't get rid of it. Oh. I don't know. You know well, it does. It does smell really good. It smells like roast chicken dinner. Is what it smells like. You know, I'll show you this. Clearly, they have poultry seasoning in that. And I know that the barley and oh yeah, and everything else is going to. Uh, it's gonna make it super thick. You're gonna have to probably add that other two cups. That's just what I'm getting at there. Right? And these noodles. That's gonna make it like a super thick. So sausage. now I'm gonna add my onion. Because it is raw, but it will cook in the soup. I'm going to crank the heat now. Yeah, it says put it on boil. Yeah. Can I see? Hmm? Max. Can I see like what's happening right now? Sure. I just want to see the ratio, like. What did you know? Yeah. That's, that's going to be a thick pot of soup. I think it's going to be thick. Pot. Yeah, I think you're going to have to add the water now because what? if that barley and that rice blows up, yeah. that's going to be sticking. Yeah. So, now the celery. This is going to be hard for me to not add any spices, you know. Well, and now the carrots. Classic chicken and herb. You'll see. Now, yeah, like that's quite thick. And you know what? We usually fill it up to the buttons. It's not to the buttons yet, so. Well. Let's just do what it says. If this is a boss, then we that's going to be the review. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like I would never put this much macaroni in a soup. You probably wouldn't. Like I would put like a quarter of a cup. 
Yeah. This is this looks like it's a cup. I can measure it if you want. So this is the full ten cups of water we're putting in here, and it just come. I'll show you, but it just come to the the, the buttons on the handle. On the handles on the bottom of the pot, that's where it's touching. And that is where we would ordinarily fill it up to. So, i got to go get my cover. Okay. That means you want me to move. So i got to get her to move a little bit. So it says boil, and then you turn it down and simmer it for two hours. Well, one to two hours. It's going to depend on, basically, with this, when our carrots are done. When our carrots are done, then probably pretty much at that point put the noodles in. This was going to be lunch, but it's not yeah. going to be now. This is not going to be lunch now. So, at any rate, that's that's it for right now. Um, if Mitchell worked out. Well, you can come back like halfway through. Yep. See what it looks like. That's uh, pretty easy soup mix. So, uh, stay tuned. We will show you very soon. What that all looks like, i got to bring it to a boil and then start simmering. So thank you for watching, and as I said, stay tuned. We'll show you the, the rest, and we'll show you the finished product when it's done. So stay tuned. Well, hello, everyone. This is Kevin, the homemaker husband. I'm back. Um, our soup is done, and it's very good soup. Very good soup. And Michelle was saying that she certainly understands why the Mitchell Soup Company has made it the way they've made it. It is, without a doubt, very low in sodium. And we know that salt is a flavor enhancer. So, while it is good, the texture is good. I'm gonna show you what the pot of it looks like. The texture is very good, uh, consistency, I guess that's sort of the same thing, but it's not a super runny soup, which we like. Uh, it's a thick soup. I like soup almost to the point where you'd call it stew. And I can't have that unless I want stew. But, but we decided we should leave it the way it is and salt it to our individual taste when we're eating it per bowl, right? So Michelle, and Michelle will tell you herself that she is a soup snob. It's one of her one of her two favorite foods, and she gives it a seven out of ten. So I would say that that is a very good soup. It's a very good score. I know that we have made soup from scratch before that she would have scored less than that. Now we usually don't stop until we're satisfied, but I know that we have made soups that turned out to disappoint her before. And uh, as I said usually you just keep working with it until you get it exactly where you want so that being said i would highly recommend this soup myself it made a nice big pot we might i'm not sure we might be on a freeze some of it just depends on what today and tomorrow brings but uh i'll show you what it looks like and yes it's a thumbs up now as for who wins the soup contest mitchell or Michelle because I live with Michelle she wins hands down and uh, <laughs> right so anyway I highly recommend it yes it's very good we have three more flavors from them that we're gonna do at some point later on so stay tuned for them and uh, have a look at the soup I'll try to do this gently if you see the mass on the stove it's just the mess on the stove I'm trying to so that's what it looks like it's a good looking soup lovely color and uh, turned out really quite well hello again everyone this is Kevin the homemaker husband it is now Sunday this is an update on the soup that we made yesterday so I wanted to tell you what we did or remind you what we did. We added half a tablespoon of chicken bouillon, or chicken stock, right? In powdered form. We added nearly a teaspoon of salt. Nearly, when I say, you know, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder, 
and three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder and thought it tasted pretty good yesterday and you'll remember Michelle gave it a 7 out of 10. So I'm going to show you what the soup looks like and tell you we absolutely loved it today. The flavors married up really well last night in the fridge, which food does. And today we ate it for lunch and we were very pleasantly surprised at how good it was. So I am going to give you a peek at what it looks like in the soup pot. The consistency is lovely. I told you that I like uh, thicker soup, almost like a stew. So that's what it come out like. So have a look at that. Okay, everyone. Here is the soup. Now, we each had a bowl. Like, Michelle doesn't eat that much, but we each had a bowl of this today at noon. And look at how nice and thick that got. Those noodles are up to, uh, well, their maximum size. If you remember, I said I like my soup to be almost like a stew, and this is almost there. And Michelle absolutely loved it. So yesterday, she had said she'd give this a 7 out of a 10, but today it's a 10 out of 10. She's saying she couldn't start from scratch and make a soup any better than this. And I agree that it's lovely. Now, Michelle has made tremendously good soup before, but this is a tremendously good soup. It has a beautiful consistency. Uh, you can see the barley and stuff in there. It's just wonderful, the flavor. Obviously, pitchers don't do it justice, but the flavor is just off the charts. It's lovely. Um, a person might want to put a little more salt on it or you might find it perfect. I put a little bit of salt on, but it was just phenomenal. So I can't praise this soup enough. So that's Mitchell's Classic Chicken Soup. I can't remember without the label, but you'll, you'll see that anyway. So this is a winner and uh, you can try that yourself. It's easy to make. I told you what we added to it, and it's not over the top, so we didn't we didn't tweak it too much. This this is going to be a delight to eat this week. So yeah, very happy how that turned out. So give this one a try if you want Mitchell's Classic Chicken Soup. So thumbs up. Thank you for watching. It's Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying God bless and have a great day.